Our Top Gun team has compared the ES with the Leica TS-06 and the Nikon Nevo. They set up three real-world scenarios to establish a realistic comparison between the different instruments. You can judge the results for yourself. We've got a tower that's approximately 350 meters away. And the tower comprises of a, a silver column with a black chimney top. So I'm going to hold my hands up and I'm going to count down from three, two, one, and then I want you to take your measurement. Three, two, one. Okay. Nah. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually raise the telescope vertically. So we're sighting the centre of the black column of the tower and repeat the measurement. Three, two, one. Fail. Fail. We've got a panel fence um, just in front of us. And on the panel fence, um, I want you to take a distance off one of the panels. 104 metres. Distance fail. Distance fail. So the purpose of the exercise that we're about to undertake now is to take each of the three EDMs and check them over certain distances. The first test will be the distance and the time it takes to measure that distance to a prism, then also to the road surface at the tip of the pole. Ready. Measurement. 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 Non-prism. Measurement. Measurement. The Nikon Nevo failed at about 100 meters, with the Leica falling short before 120. But the Topcon ES measured to nearly 140 meters. That's a full 15% distance advantage over the next closest competitor. Lastly, we made a very straightforward distance test to a Kodak Grey card at 200 meters. Again, the Nikon Nevo failed. While both the Leica and the Topcon made the shot, the Topcon ES finished two seconds faster.